Yeah. Look, there's, there's a difference, okay? And actually, Hawkins has talked about out of body. Out of body... Um, so, when someone goes out of body, like, let's say there's a horrible situation happening and one goes out of body, or in an opera operation theatre, one goes out of body, typical places. Out of body... Um, if you check the level, the level of calibration before and after an out-of-body, it's the same. No spiritual, nothing spiritual happens in an out-of-body experience. It's not spiritual work. Okay. So let's say I just flip out of the body. Let's say I'm, I'm, I, you know, something horrible is going to happen, I flip out of the body. Actually, and, and I see the situation from above. And then I just flip into the body back again. If you, you know, the, the, the observing and going back, there, there has been no change in spiritual consciousness with that event. There's no spiritual work, it's just a flipping out of the body and going back in again in a, in a situation. So n nothing spiritually happens, you know. That's not the same as spiritual work. Okay, so it's not, I mean, you could call it a spiritual experience, but I prefer not to, if that makes sense because it's not the thing of doing spiritual work and going to a higher level of consciousness. You know, like flipping out of body in a difficult situation back in again. There's no spiritual merit in that. Okay. Now, practicing the observer and being in the observing of the body, yeah, this is spiritual, spiritual transcendence. It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual act. Okay, so, if so, you know, like, if, if, let's say I've got, like, lots of trauma and belief systems and stuff going on, and one day I flip out of body, and then I flip back into body, no, nothing has happened, I'm still the same miserable person I was before the event. So nothing has been spiritually released, if that makes sense. Now, if I be the observer of the body, I'm transcending identification with the body, I'm transcending the stories in the body, and I'm transcending the feelings. Because that's what you do. You're transcending the feelings and, tr and transcending the story and transcending the identity. So what happens is the observing that then happens, if you were to calibrate it, there is also a, a, an increase in spiritual vibration. I don't know if this is clear or not. So the, the flip in and out of... Doing no spiritual work and flipping in and out of body, you're still back at the same level of consciousness. Being the observer... Like an enlightened teacher is not the same as someone who's just flipped in and out of body. You know, the level of consciousness of someone in negativity that flips in and out of the body is still the same level of consciousness. An enlightened teacher has transcended the body and transcended all the repressed feelings and all the stories is at an elevated level of consciousness. So, uh, you see, so karmically, if you just flip in and out of the body, you'll still get the same level of consciousness you were before. When you transcend the body, the story and the feelings, you're now at the level of, of, of a very high vibration of consciousness. So when you... So it's actually a brilliant question. You know, just someone, someone flipping out of body is not the same as being enlightened. It's not the same as doing that spiritual work. Um, however, I do agree with The Course in Miracles. Uh, and I know a lot of people won't like what I'm about to say, but I'll say it anyway. You know, I'm not a body. I'm free for I'm as God created me. You know, just the thing of like, if someone taught me how to go out of body and go back into body, that was all they taught me. That for me is not a spiritual thing. You know, or if I just said, you know, if I'd never done any spiritual work and I told, hey, I went out of body, I took some, you know, and I came back into body and I'm still the same twat I was before. <laughs> you know, but I've had an out of body, I've had an out of body experience, so I'm special. I mean, I'd still be the same twat, you know. It's like, so what? You, know, you just saw, I was, at, I was at the top of the room looking at my body and I can report that to everyone. It doesn't mean anything, mm -hmm. you know. Being an enlightened teacher is, is not the same thing as someone who's had an out-of-body experience. Now, I'm going to piss some people, so I can't help pissing people off. You know, I just disagree. I'm not the body, you know. Uh, but... A lot, of, a lot of what goes around in here, I mean, I don't disagree. Everything is a different level of, resol of resolving stuff, you know. So identifying with the body to resolve stuff is just a certain level of consciousness and an idea that you do. 
but I don't have to go back into the body to transcend something. You know, that, you know, like, so there will be some schools will say you have to go back into your body and believe you're a body and you have to go around being a body to relate to bodies and to release stuff. That's one view. I don't think it's the only view. And I mean, I do like The Course in Miracles. I'm not my thoughts and I'm not my body. You know, and that's a very high level of spiritual um, surrender. So I think it's a great question. The other thing is, like, the observer is not, uh, I have said this, but I want to make it clear on camera, the observer is not a dissociated state. The observer is not being frozen. Do you understand? You know, because also you could say there is something that observes something going out of body, which is not the out of body experience. So the observer is not like, some people might say like, oh, if you're the observer, you're just trying to be dissociated for the rest of your life. Or if you go into the observer, you're not there or you're being frozen. No, that is not what I'm talking about. Because you have to observe the dissociated state until it collapses. And you have to observe the frozen state until it collapses. So different, there's different levels of the observer. The observer is not like a dissociated state. It's not a, a frozen state. Because a lot of people would argue you might... might poo-poo the observer as being, a, uh, being something stupid. But, oh yeah, you're just going to be dissociated for the rest of your life, or you're just going to be... But, yeah, um, that would be deeper. I mean, I, if I was doing the observer, like, what observes... You flipped out of body, but what observed that? And what observed coming back into the body? And so, and so that's how you could collapse that thing. But just, just doing no spiritual work and flipping in and out of the body is not a spiritual, it doesn't affect, is, has no effect on spiritual consciousness. So, but doing the observer is a spiritual process. If you keep doing the observer, you can be free. Whereas if someone just by accident flips in and out, that is not a way to freedom. They're not, people who just have an out-of-body experience on the operating table don't come back as enlightened teachers. No, they're not, they're still the same twat they were before they had the out-of-body experience.